The answer is easy. You both are fucking devils. I have returned, by the way. I, I made myself an angry water. Oh, shit. I thought I had already went down. Wow, that's a hard cut. Music, 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 cut. Henshin security. This office is sealed. Lorik Keen gave me a pass in. Keen? Are you working for him? He's under investigation. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? <laughs> hey, I'm not the one who wants Keen. Analeas has a varan up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. Ah. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> well, yeah, I literally hit him with two overloads and a fucking warp. I That was just meant to be quick, dirty, and fucking... Done. Uh, I'll check that in just a second, but you have a wall safe. And it probably has things I want in it. Ah, fuck. Yeah. Even radio. <laughs> Thank you for the clips. I do appreciate it. Oh, a uh, hi. Do not be stupid. Yeah, hi. I don't give a fuck. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. Nope. No, I'm not. Are you? I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling. Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas could throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? Your men are dirty, Sergeant. You're here off duty breaking the law for bribe money. I didn't want to fight them. They fired first. Oh, hi. Overload. Overload and then a bit of warp. You explode. Ooh. 
Impressive. Dampening. Give shield boost. I'm a marksman, and then they're gonna die. Uh, Garrus, get that. Get your pistol back out. What are you thinking? Sorry, I, I, I was like, Garrus, I literally expect you. There we go. I can't get a goddamn clear shot. Okay, you fuckers are just irritating me now. Alright, fine. I'm gonna come down there, beat your ass, and then I'm gonna go up and get that. Okay. Hi. Hi, pop out. I dare you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Variety is the spice of... It speaks to one... How does that shot work? They call me Mr. Reaper. We got that, that, more of that. Do no no no. There is never enough cowbell. Cowbell is eternal. Damn, son. This is why I upgraded Tali's uh, encryption and decryption. That's why it's absolutely fucking maxed. Ah, fuck. Here we go. I want to be able to loot everything. Everything? Everything. Doomguy. No, Doomguy just said rip and tear until it is done. And I have uh, made up for the, uh, the previous hydrates, so no more gunshots. There have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? It's probably Analeas' thugs ripping the place apart. Smart ass, huh? That's fine. I can work with that. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. Oh my. Says the one responsible. 
No, I am responsible for laser blasts. There's a difference. Uh, ooh. I don't know what you're talking about. I used biotics quite effectively. <laughs> Get your gamer armaments today. God. I wouldn't be surprised if that was legit someone's. Alright. What's up? Allow me to reintroduce myself. Carasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. Ooh. Why is an internal affairs agent here? The executive board knows about Analeas's corruption. I've been undercover for six months. Ah. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. I need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. Analeas is dirty. It might be best to help her. Yeah. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You specters play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. All right. I'll talk to Keen and see if I can convince him. Thank you. You know where I work. Come talk to me once you know if he'll play ball. All right. What's up? All right. What sort of office is this? Good. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to mention numbers. Okay. You hear about the resort you visit? As in always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I ask you to look into? I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Enelaus. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. Everyone on this station is chafing under Enelaus's extortion. You might end up a hero. Mm. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. The board is investigating Analeas. They'll be more angry at him than at me. All right. It is obvious that I cannot dissuade you. Hey. Very well. I will testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here. Look at that Paragon level. So I just I never would like playing these games as an asshole. I just I don't like it. You get less for it and you just come across as a complete fucking twat. And then the hard cut uh, hard music cut again. What if Hmm. I understand the reason for the hard music cut is you're literally passing over like a tri uh like a loading plane or a trigger plane. I forget the terminology. But it's like, would it have been hard to like fade it in a bit? That, that's just me though. Soundproof elevators? No, it's not even soundproof. It's more so the fact that like once it hits the loading plane, the, the music from the hotel just like if you go to Chora's Den, you'll notice like the music fades in. 
Sorry, my, my audio nerd is coming out now. Have you given any more consideration to my offer? It took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a specter and all. I guess some of you can be all right. Doesn't this help you? You don't seem particularly happy. I'm ecstatic, but right now, I just feel like a long day of work is ending. While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Be careful up there. Hey. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. This is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Yeah, yeah, get a move on. <laughs> you, Shepard, I demand you place this bitch under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. <laughs> see you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer. Uh. You want to fix your audio cues? Fucking, like, just absolutely walloping over each other. Fuck. Uh, no, no. You didn't work on the game. Work in radio. Also, this. Uh, I apologize. My work life is like. It's things you notice. Eh. Hmm. There we go. I want to get to lift just so because I'm so fucking tired of them hiding under bullshit. All right. Pop you there. Give you medium armor. And you, okay. Hmm. And two into that. There we go. I want to keep my charm as high as possible. It just gives me more. It just gives me more uh, dialogue options. Like if I was going the renegade route, then I'd probably go into intimidate. Basically, just got to make a beeline. Yeah, oh, and for those of you who weren't here for it, uh, as I'm playing through the series, it will be uh, Femship all the way through. I enjoy their VO more. Just, well, I enjoy their voice acting more. <laughs> Jennifer Hill does a really, did a really good job. What's up, bro? Access to the garage is restricted. I have authorization. Excuse me. Yes, that's genuine. Drive safely. The weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Lucas Valley. All right. Oh boy. Wait. Oh. I fucking hate these things. 
is what the matriarch had in the crates. Load, sabotage, and I'm gonna use bro. That works. What are you still fucking firing at? up what did you do here commander the geth ambushed us we fought back that's it geth you expect me to where did they come from if i were to guess the matriarch packed them in the shipping container she arrived with i don't believe that we did thorough scans of those there were no power sources no element zero masses if benezia sama's containers were packed with these things there are many more out there. How many more? I need numbers, Captain. A dozen? A hundred? Dozens, at least. They're machines. You could pack them tightly. Yeah. I must report to the executive board. If word gets out about loose geth, there may be an investor panic. Hmm. <laughs> I'm glad that's the first thing you thought of. Proper capitalism. Not, you know... Oh, horrific synthetic machines. It's like, no. What will the investors think? Actually, I just remembered something. All right. Uh, do I have to? Uh, I do it. Uh, X. You know what? No, I want the detection. I'd rather them not be able to jam my fucking radar every time. I'm just curious, does it have to be on my currently equipped weapon? Well, obviously, I would think. Thank you. Nothing wrong with a good turret section. Oh, hi.
it's running, I'm just turning around because I got. Oh, that's an armature. <laughs> okay, that was just cool. This is why I like level three detection. I'll give you those. You a bit more heat absorption. God damn, son. I just saw you peeking over the top. And that's all I needed.
Hey. Ah. Didn't even break my shield. Damn it.
God damn it. He's taking... When the fuck did Garrus... Okay. Yeah, it was annoying. Fucking die! Holy shit! Uh, Krogans are fucking brutal to deal with. gonna have to keep swapping to my fucking sniper I might as well grab a decent one and I want more stability virtual intelligence user interface offline okay All right, will do. Thank you. Ah, okay. Now it's mapped to R1. And I, I mapped lift to it just because if I can get those fuckers to pop out of cover.
Oh, that works. Actually, I'm going to map warp to that. Need to work on my fucking aim though, Jesus. Oh. What was that? Animals win despite their bad training. Oh boy. Okay. Gravitonic. Must be toxin or something. Oh. A backup power critical startup error. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. Manual boot required. All right. Manual boot required. Gotcha. Okay. X B Y
Okay. Armored car one. Okay, come on, think. All right, take it easy, Akko. Okay, okay. X. Okay. Okay. Sorry, stretching. Close. Fuck. Okay. Get down. The f <laughs> oh no. It fucking...
God damn it. Good job, team. I'm going to save here. Yes, I had to look up how to do this. Woohoo! It looks like you're trying to restore this facility. Would you like help? Help would be great. Who are you? This system is monitored to respond to the name Mira. May I ask your name? Commander Shepard, Systems Alliance Navy. One moment, please. Service record confirmed. Due to the current emergency, you are entitled to secure access of all systems. Please note that queries relating to corporate secrets require privileged access. Privileged access is only available to Binary Helix executives. This system is ready to process queries. You may access me at any holographic interface within Peak 15. I need to find Matriarch Benezia. Lady Benezia departed on the passenger tramway to the Rift Station subsidiary labs. User alert. The tramway system is currently inoperable. What's the situation here? One moment, please. Diagnostics in progress. Critical failure. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Critical failure. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status query? That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Okay, I'm going to save here. And we've been going for almost five hours, so I'm going to call it here. Thank you all for being here. This has actually been a lot of fun. Hello, YouTube. Don't worry, you didn't miss nothing. I just went into my equipment because I realized I had better uh, armor I wanted to equip and I forgot to do it last stream okay, so we'll go with the Liberator oh and Garrus yeah that's much better all right what do I got for him cooldown reduction Ooh, uh, medical interface and 
do I have anything better for Tali? Oh, yes, much. Okay, Explorer 3. Well, let's see. I will, I've got Harden Weep 1 on. Don't need cooldown reduction. Plus 90 shields. For Tali, that's actually a really good idea. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency. But I uh, hope you're doing well, Akira. Containment procedures. Manual restart required. All right, let's alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. I know. Just got to check the roof for stuff. Oh, jeez. Well. Connections are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Yeah, I heard you. Online. How may I assist you? Do you know why the reactor was shut down? Oh yeah. I'm sorry, but I was offline at the time. Emergency guidelines suggest the frigid environment will turn off the heat and help the cold put whatever you've unleashed to sleep. Nice. That's all I need right now. Yeah. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. Oh. And I'm I've been thinking about it. I'm probably gonna replace Garrus. Probably bring in Rex just so I can have a because this User is kind alert. of a fragile team. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. You oh, there we go. Bunk. I had to come up here anyway. I was like, I could have sworn I saw a landline earlier. Okay. And how you doing, Akira? You just get up? Alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment. Journal. Reconnect fuel lines. Procedures. Manual restart required. I was going to say, where do you see a technician kit? Oh, oh shit. Wait, wait, go back. Huh? I know. I hope I'm going the right way. Well, we'll find out in a second, won't we? User alert. Now entering main reactor. Oh. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. That's why I'm going down here. Thank you. I'll take free meta gel. 
Oop. Uh, I'm gonna go over here for a second. Good. I'd rather they have only one way to go. Ha. Ah. Can't leap around everywhere now, motherfucker. Or can you? I'm gonna go over here quick. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Sabotage. Ode. Thank you. And you, I want on uh, hacking. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance yeah. with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Okay, what's over here? Okay. Ooh. Negative contact. I was like, I know there's still one of you bastards around here. The AT3 fuel line User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual. There we go. Hey. Alright, good stuff. Sorry, I looked over for a sec. I was like, oh crap, did I forget to start recording? No, I did not. There's always that little worry when you're dealing with tech. It's like, oh crap, did I forget to click the button? Aha. 
Let's just head back. Don't need the mirror terminal. And I think the other side is Pastor Tram. Oh, hi. Ah, perfect. User alert. Loose contaminants in the decontamination chamber. Access to passenger tramways inadvisable. They're locked in. I could bypass the door. It looks like the tram to the subsidiary... Finally, some action! Sit down. Control group loose in the they're in can't escape. The tunnels now. Sorry. The leads couldn't get to the struck. Come out while you can. Alright. He killed himself because he was part of whatever happened here? There must have been something he could do to help his comrades. Huh? Oh, I was literally like, wait, what? What happened? Ew. Like the friggin... They're like the friggin... Oh god, my brain. F the flood from Halo. Just the little spider explodey dudes. I'm expecting something big and fucking nasty to pop up in a minute. Okay. Let's go. Central station. Destination. Rift station. Damn. Oh, my helmet went. Eh. All right. Now arriving at Rift Station, Binary Helix Research Facility. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna replace Garrus with uh, Rex, or I might just make it, uh, you know, Team Girl Power and go with Liara. Team Biotics. Biotics are ridiculously good in this game. Okay. Or someone. Hot lab. Elation room. Well, we'll start here. Up. Stand down. Oh hey, you've got the fucking brain. Congratulations. Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. No autopsy, no foul. I'd only be upset if they'd fired. 
Even hopped up on stems, my people know the rule. Two legs good, four legs bad. <laughs> Look, you're human and that's enough that I won't shoot. I'd like to know who you are. My name's Shepard. I'm a specter. Huh. Well, I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out, and he ain't all there anymore. At first we knew the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. What are they? I've never seen anything like them. What do you know? I'm no xenobiologist. They're fast, vicious, and there's a hell of a lot of them. Ah. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. Venezia. Is she still over there? I don't know. I don't see what one person could do. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. How are your people holding up? We weren't expecting the initial wave. They made it inside. We lost some good people. Those of us left are shorthanded. We've kept order by long shifts and stems. I don't like it, but I don't see an alternative. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Oh, shit. Hell, man the perimeter. Look out! Go, go, go! <sighs> Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. Huh. They always attack here? It's an obvious kill zone. Their only other option is over the mountain and down through the ducts. And they freeze like everyone else. Oh. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. Hmm. Okay. Where are we right now? Cause I see a... Okay, I was gonna hope for a bit of... Merchant, Jesus, my... It is three in the morning for me. Hey, what's up? seem less upset about this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. Ah. That's all for now. Then I will return to my meditations. Nothing personal. Okay. Uncertain. I welcome you. Cautiously. I am curious to know what you're doing here. I heard there were some problems up here. Furtively. I am concerned about the state of our guards. Many have been awake for days. For now, with forced cheer, I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. Let's have a look. Regretfully, most of my stock is being appropriated by Captain Ventralis. Alright. Uh. You know what? I've got a little bit of cash, so I'll do that. Duration bonus. Oh, wait. I was going to say that's just the straight up upgrade for us to board there. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Yeah, the more just straight up more damage. And he's got, yeah, he's. There we go. I was going to say. Okay, cool. I will save. Hey, Doc, you all right? What? No. Sorry. I haven't had much sleep since the attack. Is there something you need? The hot labs. What do you know about the hot labs? Nothing. I didn't work there. As far as I know, Han Olar was the only survivor. Is he in the medical ward? No, he's staying in the science team's quarters. Be gentle with him. He had a trying experience. I'll talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. Okay. Watchdog protocol is active. All right. I'm not going to break into stuff. I really don't want to get in a fight with these people. go straight for the hot labs but you know where's the fun in that no wait there was something down there oh there it is What do you want? Were they attacked by the aliens? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. But you're going to because I might be able to help. <laughs> I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. No. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you. I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. Oh boy. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. I understand your caution, but I need details. What you say won't go beyond these walls. It's a bioweapon based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature. 
There was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Ah, wonderful. Forest B is highly infectious, but you can't pass from one person to another. Like a bio war attack with but a pandemic spread. Oh. It doesn't matter how safe you make it. Biological weapons are illegal. Militaries, governments, they'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. Is there a cure, Doctor? A treatment? Yeah. Our first priority was getting it working. We were close to synthesizing an antidote when Mira went down. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventrolis doesn't want to risk more contamination. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. I need to get into the maintenance areas. I have a pass, but there's nothing back there. Just snow. Well, snow and maintenance access. Things are going to hit the fan in this place. Slip me the card and I'll keep your team safe. I have your word on that. Just don't tell the guards. They're twitchy enough. Okay. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. All right. Got to talk to the captain again. I knew there was more to it. Okay, wanna go talk to, uh, gotta go talk to the captain. Cause I could just run to the hot labs, but where's the fun in that? Hey, what's up, it's me, your boy. Something you need? I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. We're not part of your defense plans. We're consuming extra rations, extra metagel. Yeah, but you also have extra guns. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. Okay. He'll run a full scan before he'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. That's fair. Those are reasonable precautions. Yeah. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. I've got work to do. You and me both. All right. All right. Probably get me some good shit. Quarantine. Yum. came to find out about them, didn't you? Are you trying to be cryptic or are you just nuts? <laughs> I wish I were crazy. It would be easier. How can I get into the maintenance area? A team lead would have access. Like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. Alright, tell me about these. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Oh, Rachni. Rachni? I don't believe that. Where did they come from? They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. Waiting since the last battle. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? Yeah. Shut the fuck up! You're gonna be crazy. Be the quiet kind. I will clip you. Crazy. I'm safe. God, am I safe? I need to know everything about the Rachni. I told you all I can. We brought the Rachni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. Goodbye. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. 
Hey. Okay, this one will get you. Tell me, tell jokes. So this high been used to have nightmares like this. Got to keep the mood light. I mean, if you don't laugh, you'll uh, yeah. You just have to. Okay, where are we? I think I'm going the right way. Don't need the aid station right now. You're not part of the crew. I have Ventralis's permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watch from the barricade. Okay. Read the research notes. Uh, and I'm logic arrest. Fucking damn. Yeah, I want to give uh, them as much fucking I'll take care of that. Thank you. Okay. A X. Oh, I see. Boop. Okay, Ooh, that was that last one was a bit X Y X Ah it ate too quick. Okay. Doop 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 Gotcha Your mission ends here, Shepherd. Hey Ambush Ah you're a sleeper agent for Benezia. I was ordered to eliminate you should the opportunity arise. And here you are, trapped in this lab. Weapons free! Yeah, you just made a terrible, terrible light mistake. You get a lift. You get a hack. No. And you... I'll get over. No, wait, let me rearrange. Over there. I'd like to know why I'm using... Everyone gone? Okay. Okay, we got the cure. You mean the get the inorganics the Asari had with her? 
Venezia brought them with her. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. Alright. I like this new pistol. Ooh, I saw 30% damage versus synthetic. Dam damage upgrade is a damage upgrade. That was the closest I've been. You do not know the oh. privilege of being a mother. Oh, hey. There is power in creation to shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. <coughs> Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Yep. A few humans have. We don't have to fight. You can return to the Citadel with us. I think not. Spoiler, she's a powerful biotic. Oh boy. Okay, well. Oh, toad. Dodge. And a. Okay, it's wave based. Use assassination. Point to sabotage. You use marksman. Damn it. Whipped it just slightly. Right, one left. Alright, 
we got more friends coming in. Huh. And I want you to load. And you to shield boost. Good shit. Good shit. This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will. You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Ah. So you could turn on me again. Yes, but it would not be my will, Shepard. People are not themselves around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. Okay. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. Sovereign's not like other ships. Where did it come from? I cannot say. The Geth did not build it. Its technology is far more advanced than that of any known species. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. Tell me where the Mew Gate is before I lose my temper. Of course, Commander. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the Relay's coordinates isn't enough. We need to know where to go from there. Mm. Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You should. You should. Ah, oh, you should. Die. That's not good. Well, dampening. That's a nation. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I literally didn't get to move. That's kind of bunk. Oh, wow. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Metagel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely... That was bullshit. She literally I threw out a paralyzed and then just fucking killed me. Oh, boy. No light. They always said there would be a... Yeah, you're you're not wrong. Uh 
Oh boy. That's the queen. Uh, uh oh, hi. Shepard, turn around. Zombie? Ah! Hi. Oh, wait. This one serves as our voice. We cannot sin. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. We filled you with enough plasma to pop a tank. This vessel is at the edge. Yet she struggles. You cannot see her magnificence. We are breathing on the embers. Oh, you're just basically keeping we her alive. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silence. Oh. We are Rachni. Did you order your people to kill the science team? No. We were locked away here. The children are beyond our songs. They have been lost to silence. Ah. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. And their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. Mm. I'll do it. All right. I don't think they'll give me a choice anyway. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? Mm. The Ragnar were a threat to the galaxy. Those tanks are filled with acid. If she gets out of hand, they dissolve her. She's the last of her race, Shepard. We don't have the objectivity to judge her. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us. Or return our people to the silence of memory. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. You son of a... Alright, how long... All right, y'all, my aim's about to get a lot worse. Scarlet, you're a bastard. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, I got four points. But Honestly, I'm just gonna get my damage reduction and health up. Oh, as for you. I think giving you adrenaline burst. And you, honestly. There we go. down three hours fuck that it's like five five or ten minutes like if, if I don't respond to chat it's because I literally can't fucking read it yeah spoiler I wear glasses
Okay, to the hot labs. Wait. No, I'll go talk to the captain first. Then I'll go to the hot labs. Okay, I want to go up and to the left. God damn it. <laughs> you suck. Okay. Oh, wait. I gotta go back to the secure lab. Shit. I gotta take the long way around to get that. Before I go to the hot lab. Now for you to do some D&D &D writing prep. Hmm. Rocks fall, everybody dies. God damn it, I have to go through the hot labs. Some of a bitch. Okay, I guess I, yeah, all right, let's hit up the hot labs. I think you're technically supposed to do these before you do what you just did. More Dracolich makes an appearance with small army of shades. Ooh, are they the ones that remove levels or remove health? Hi. You're suspicious you as fuck. The situation? That's right. I'm a council specter. Who are you? Ooh, fun. I am Yaroslav Tartakovsky, the operations director. I would stand and shake hand, but uh, you must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? You let these things out? Uh, I am only following the orders. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drift. This was Ragnar's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. They brought it here to wake it up? Binary Helix planned to clone Ragnar, mass produce them, create an army. A bug army. Isn't that what they Starship here. Troopers this was based on? not a common Ragnar. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to rift station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Yeah. Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Oh. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. Separating them from their mother didn't work. Yeah. Didn't work. This was exactly the wrong thing to do. Yeah. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Then all we need to do is bring her here. No. I am sorry. But this will not work. But These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the Purge system. It creates bursts of Neutron radiation. Kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. Once the Purge is armed, we'll have to fight our way out. 
Give us a minute to patch up and head on. Sure, sure. I wait here. I am not so much good for searching now, yes? <laughs> Mother always say I would make a bad end. Alright. Hey, Mira. Connected. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. I need information on the Neutron Purge. The Neutron Purge is a fail-safe system installed within the isolation tube area. In the event of irretrievable containment loss, it is used to resolve the situation. Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Who would have the code? Director of Operations, Yaroslav Tartakovsky, or any executive officer of Binary Helix. We're moving on. Logging you out, Commander. And he, we're gonna come back and he's dead. Or uh, Brackney's gonna Nope. Alright. I am feeling not so well. How do we set off the purge? Armin controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will give the mirror a response. Called it. God damn it. Give me the codes. Why did I was gonna say, why did it face me away? Alright, let's go. Online. How can I help you? Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input 8750200079. Code Omega local execution. Verify. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. Oh boy. Just flip. We're gonna be rocking the overloads. Fascination, marksman.
I was gonna say, let's get the fuck out of here now. Ooh. There it is. Just see. There we go. It's for you. Actually, mark out, max out your quarry and machine it. There we go. I was gonna say, now can I scale it? Fucking hell. So it's a deal then. Ah, the zombie, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Oh yeah, I can put my glasses back on. Yeah. I can see. All right. Now, what am I doing? Okay, and I can't get back in there. I don't think so, anyway. Let's get the heck out of here. I'm annoyed because I was like, I have the cure. I just can't get to the fucking people. That's annoying. All right. Back to the central station. What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? <laughs> We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. Crew? Dismissed. Ovaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Yeah, sure. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? And then released the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? This Queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Hey. More Paragon. How am I doing on that? Alright. Cool. Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. Patch it through. I'll take it in the calm room. All right, 
Let's go now. Commander Shepard, we received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. Good. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. Go ahead. I'm listening. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. Uh, thank you. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Thank you, thank you. All right. Yeah, Vermeer. Who do I give that to? And the TS system hates Gamma Cluster. Why not? I'll be nice. I'll do a couple small assignments. Okay, it was just... Damn. Just quickly back up. And away we go. message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. Hey, what's up? We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. How can what I help? need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. Okay. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. How many casualties so far? 17 Marines were killed in the simulation exercises before we realized what had happened. That's when we contacted you. VI support is critical to our military success. They process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. Mm. But as advanced as this thing is, that military strategy is still just a VI. It's not self-aware, and it's completely disengaged from any networks. That's where you come in. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI Corps and manually disable it. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. Okay. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answered the council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military, and right now we need you. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Okay. Oh. Then Mob Lopez. Most. There with 
Unador. Well, I gotta go down to both anyway, so. You know, I'll go with Liara. I just need, yeah, people who are good with biotics. No, but I want her first aid higher. those anomalies first. and a point of Heading out. Okay. Cool. I'll always take extra XP. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Shermaw again. Alright, well, I'll take care of this first Shermaw before I deal with any of this shit.
pop up. Okay. Ooh. I got. F that was not fun. God damn it. Just trying to repair right now because I am all sorts of messed up. Okay. Thankfully, I have a decent quantity of uh, Omni 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 gel, not Omni gel. Okay, we're almost there. <sighs> Good shit. Fuck you. research base. I do not want to... Okay, I'll just repair while we're on the move. And I know I can literally electronics and uh, decrypt everything. See if another fucking Thresher mob pops up. I'm gonna be real irritated.
We. Anytime there's just like open planes, I get nervous now. Like it's worth it to kill the Thresher Maws for the, if nothing else, for like the 9,000 credits. Ooh. Someone or something is protecting that. Please don't be, no, I was gonna say Thresher Maws are much Motherfucker, I thought I backed up enough. Bitch, this is my scavenge. <laughs> that was just a fucking kill shot. Oof. There we go. Now, where did I park the makeup? Anything I can rip off here? Cover me. Uh, negative, just they've got their own version of the Mako. Okay, we just basically want to head almost straight north. We. Oh, I didn't level up Liara. Okay. You are going to have to be the first aid. And pop that. And... Nothing else, just so you have that. Well, and since I did that, I'm gonna save. Nope. Get this Damn. Now another Thresher Maw, please. And after I grab this, whatever it is, I'm gonna go use the washroom quickly. We. Oh Jesus! The fuck happened here? That's a lot of crash probe. Are any of them salvageable? No. Ah. Perfect. Be right back. I have a tent. Down there. I 
gonna put my weapon away. Nope. Can I boost off the... You know what? I'm gonna save here? Let's fucking find out. <laughs> you can! It's instant death! Rude. Here's a good clip for you. Oh, hi. Will be extremely heavy once we are inside. Oh no. God fucking damn it. Oh, there we go. I literally went, wait, is there no way to flip it around? Can I get it in there is my question. go from the ramp maybe to go diagonally I have a feeling there's an invisible plane like loading transition right here not a big deal probably some higher level enemies around here Deployment. We'll need another route in. Hmm. Damn. 
Damn. Damn, son. All right. I was like, huh, I thought that was the other route in. Oh, it's down there. A one way drop, Commander Shepard. We Ooh. Damn it. Hey, chill. I'm so sorry. I thought you were Geth or one of those Baron. It's okay. You're safe now. But why were you here in the first place? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running, and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on, and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. We'll get you out as soon as we find out what the Geth are after. Ow. It's not the Geth. It's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... I'm here for the Geth. It's very important that I find out what they're after. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. Thorian? What is that exactly? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. Oh, huh. hey. What else can you tell me? Do you know where I can find this Thorian? I... I might be able to, but not with those Geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. <laughs> Damn it. Spilled water. Fair enough. Do you know how we can shut it down? No, not exactly. But I think the Geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the Geth laying power cables everywhere. You could follow those cables, but there's Geth all over the place. Tell me about yourself. I'm just a research assistant for Exogeny. I came here with my mother. I don't even know if she made it out alive. She did. She's with some others from the colony. She's safe for now. She's alive? Oh, thank God. I thought I was the only one left. Please, Commander, just get that field down so I can see my mother again. You stay put. I'll go open some doors. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Good luck with that field. Oh, shit. Adam, you got fucked up, Tali. Uh, I was gonna, uh, Tali, get up. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I went the wrong way. Son of a bitch. Tally just got fucking swarmed and Rex is just like <laughs> Stupid machine access encrypted files No, I 
I don't want to review protocol. I am unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! <clears throat> Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption or make an appointment with... Stupid machine! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. Carnage. Sabotage. And I'm warp your ass! Wow! That was just a brutal fucking combo. Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Welcome back, research assistant Elizabeth Bainan. What can I do for you? What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of subject species 37, the Thorian. Go ahead. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. Ooh. What does Zoo's Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zoo's Hope outpost. Split. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Oh. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Are you saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. That's why they were acting so strange. Yeah. Their pilot should be warned. Joker! Come in, Joker! Damn it! That field's blocking us. We've got to drop that shield and get back to the outpost. VI, what can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. Damn it. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. We need to find that ship. Let's get moving. Going to standby mode. Standby. Okay, save. There we go. Okay, just keep going straight along this way. I tend to check the map a lot because I get lost easy. Oh, toad. Warp. Y'all got fucked up. They can't use these claws to anchor their ships to the side of buildings. I like their docking style, but how do we cut the power that's coming from the ship? It will be difficult. We can check the other claws for weaknesses, but the Geth are very thorough. Looks like the Geth built themselves some kind of church. The Geth blur the line between organic and synthetic life. It's natural to assume they seek understanding from a higher power. What is this place? Almost looks like the Geth built themselves some kind of church. The Geth blur the line between organic and synthetic life. It's natural to assume they seek understanding from a higher power.
Okay. We're dealing with something nasty. This is why I bring you along. Okay, good. Good. Okay, I don't want to go higher quite yet. Well, I don't want to go higher that area because that's where I want to go. Ooh, excellent. And now we'll go the, the point of interest. Ah, wonderful. Overload. Warp. Lift. Warp. Sabotage. Carnage. I think I need to go up here again, and I think I was an idiot just missed something. That would be correct. Ah. Have fun! sample ah wonderful not again not again not again no
Oh, I gotta go up. Same as before, we don't have the ordinance to blow this cloth. Let's keep looking. We will. There we go. Yes. Uh, get terminal. Yes. All right. Ooh. Good to know. Good to know. Squad. Okay. Master Unity. I keep. Hmm. I do seem to be using warp quite a bit. All right, I'm gonna max out your shotguns. And there we go. Ah. See, this is a hacking minigame I don't mind. All right. PSI is 30 or low. Here through the metal. Oh, pressure normal. Okay. Oh, I see. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. Close. Okay, so I... Boop, boop. Gotcha. Ain't that a bitch. Very good. The field barring the exit will be down. Now we can go deal with the story and creature. This was my kind of mission. Kill a bunch of guests and end things off with a huge crash. Hell yeah. I hope that ship was full of those guest bastards. I repeat, Norman need a shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Norman need a shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull. Trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. Don't panic. They can't do any real damage. 
We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. This place will be crawling with Geth in a minute. Keep together and we'll get out of here in one piece. Okay. Let us get the fuck out of here. Alright. Come on, Tally. Come on, Rex. Map. Okay. Oh, perfect. Very good. Here a bit. Hey. I don't think this place is safe. I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I, I never meant for this to happen. I believe you. you. Did what you could. I'll help them if you can tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zeus Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. Oh. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? Control. What does want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. Yeah. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. Yep. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm chatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. All right. All right. All right. Thankfully, we've got the Mako right out here. Oh, look, I even turned it around. I totally meant to do that earlier. Damn. I'm letting them all hit. Crunch. There we go. I've already looted everything that was available on the way out. going to thank you do not be stupid 
You can't do this, John. Everyone shut up. Uh, let me think. Ow. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! Yeah, <laughs> you really want a fucking beef? Shepard. Damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. I found some interesting facts about you in the Exegeting database. I know what you did on Torfin. There's no reason for this to get bloody. Explain. What do you think you're doing, Jong? Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. No! This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. Are you going to tell them about the Thorian, or should I? The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus Hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, John. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. Damn it. What? My charm or pair. You've gone way too far. This ends now. If, if, if that's the way it has to be, heck, come on, come on! <laughs> shooting each other in the back he was going to it's kill you i knew what was going on and i didn't do anything juliana use your fucking head don't you start you do good work and you know it okay you can't be this so fucking now, i need to find out why the geth are after the thorian the colonists won't let you near the thorian they die first they're under its control what else am i supposed to do there's got to be another way or an I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. I'll do it. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. Equip your grenades with anti thorian gas. Okay. We'll stay out of your way until you see us, Captain. Good luck. I love that the security was smart enough to back off when... <laughs> When uh, Rex is just like, really? And they're like, nope, we're good. Fucking hell. Anti. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, hey. I got something for you. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed. Thank you. No problem. I was there anyway. It was the least I could do. Well, I appreciate it. Here, you certainly earned this. Thanks again, Commander. Ooh. I could almost buy like a specter weapon with that kind of fucking. All right. Do not get it twisted. I can and will kill all of them. I don't want to kill the colonists. But if push comes to fucking shove, I will. Are you still Geth? Also, they're not in range. We. Yeah, they're Geth. Get it, 
Oh shit. And hey, Akko. And hydration complete. Okay. What the? Oh. Don't. Okay. Careful. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. As you would have it, Commander Shepard. Oh boy. Okay. I need some more grenades. No, it uh, basically it, it would think of it like a gas grenade. I can kill the Thorian creepers. Please don't. Of gas grenades. Barrier. Shield boost. Shield boost. Thank you. Please stop. I really don't want to hurt you. They got the same AI as us. I just need another upgrade kit. Come on, I need some. A couple fucking grenades. You know, whatever. God fucking damn it.
Where are you? Why don't we? Because this is Paragon. And, you know, they're literally innocent civilians that are being mind controlled. And, and as you notice, like, even when they're shooting at us, they're doing, their aim is absolute for fucking shite. At worst, pop a couple shield boosts. And we're good. I just need like one or I need a couple more grenades. And I can't. Shields disabled. Fuck. Oh God, why did you? Mm -hmm. Tally just killed him. And I can't find any more fucking grenade. Because I need upgrade kits or just something I used a couple too many fucking grenades. I don't know how to... I'm sorry. Please stop. Wait. While in combat, we're out of combat. <sighs> I had to kill three. Stop it. You're supposed to be their leader. These people trust me. He wants me to stop him, but I won't. I won't. I imagine. Imagine you like that image of the boobering while pointing. The what are you have? To try and translate what you said because I have no clue. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. What's up? Of the guy crying while pointing a gun to someone. Yeah. Oh, the Nishiki. Renegade 6. Yeah. Damn it. If I didn't waste him on the fucking creepers, we would have been fine. That's on me. What the fuck? We just need to find this creature and determine what it, what it, Kiva. What is that? That does not look like any plant I've ever seen. 
This may be problematic. Yeah, no shit. Just a little bit problematic. Motherf overlord looking motherfucker. Oh, and ow, ow. Ugh. What the fuck? What? Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old Grosh as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren, something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Oh boy. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh barely given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them. Now. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short. But have gone on too long. Your blood will feed the ground in a new growth. Many sabotage and throw. And a warp. Oh, Damn you. Go. Well, you're gonna overload. Boop! Oh boy. I prefer if you weren't doing these things. Frick. Oh. Okay, that was just amusing. It, that was just literally a nope. Definitely something different in this area. Ooh, that probably hurts a lot. Well, let me uh. Got two points. Let's put a couple in two. And you, you're good with shotgun. And for you. Ooh. That probably stung like a bitch. Sorry, that hurt? I can tell. More of those that in trouble. Yeah. You gonna negotiate? I can keep blowing off parts of your fucking body. You ain't Cthulhu. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hi. You really should stop doing that. Overload. Or and have fun. You can say 
Rex, why are you not using your literal fucking shotgun? <laughs> Some doses of CIA interrogation tactics, yeah. If you don't give me what I want, I'm just going to break limbs. Thank you. See how fast those fuckers are melting? That's why I give Rex the shotgun. That looks like a butthole. Stop. I can keep breaking things. For I alone am king. Red. Wow. Wow. Hey. Oh, hi. Get up. Rex. Thank you. <laughs> Negative contacts, Commander. All right. Unfortunately, overload, carnage, and You good? You finished your commission? Hey. Now it's time for drawing and practice it. Nice. Center of mass. Thank you, Rex. Hey. Pop an extra metagel.
Ah, come on. Eh. After I'm, after I'm finished with this, I'm probably gonna watch uh, Chainsaw Man. Well, at least finish watching the first episode anyway. Silverlord didn't make a clone of Majima. Fuck. All patched up. No one would have ever beaten Mass Effect if that was the case. Big stretch. Okay, we're good. All targets down. Yeah. <laughs> that will never not be funny. Alright, I really would like a couple more grenades. Oh, this is the last one. Now get fucked.
Uh, who are you? How did you end up inside that thing? My name is Shiala. I serve. I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. Ah. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Then why were the Geth trying to destroy the Thorian? After Saren had uh, defeated, you mean Twi'leks? Thorian became a liability. Was an Asarian's interface his will also used for lap dancing? He knows you're following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the cipher. Oh. What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the cipher is no. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The cipher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory, a viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sense this ancestral memory, the cipher, when I meld it with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. As we I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind is like to learning Latin as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. Oh boy. I have given you the cipher. Just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are a part of you now. What was that? Commander Shepard, are you alright? I saw something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. Just a fucking tad. A little unsteady, Commander. Perhaps you should return. That's just a dark one from Jack Three. I am sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, 
I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. Thank you. All right. You did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. Sorry, love. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. Hey, no worries. Oh. Now you all die. <laughs> Military speaking commander is above sergeant. I have no clue. I'm going to save here. And I'm going to call this stream for now. Thank you all for being here. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'm going to go. I'm going to chill out. Use uh, the washroom. And uh, I've got some editing to do. Take it easy, everybody. Hello, YouTube. All right. Just doing a bit of an e equipment check. Okay. Uh... That's just a straight up upgrade. Uh, now that I don't need to talk to them. Ooh, high explosive. Yes, because now that I don't need to use the anti Thorian stuff. Okay, you've got the energize. Uh, that's yeah, just straight up better. Huh. Oh, so these can have... Ooh. Okay, yeah, d duration's good, but the fact it can actually... Oh, what's my current one? Uh, go with that. Uh, unit. Okay, it's specifically for the... Alright, the fact I can get that... I'll do that. I'll lose the duration. Hey, what's up? I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. Farewell, Shiala. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. Thank you. Okay, let's check the journal. Out of, of the maroons. How do I get out of here? Okay. Hey. I never thought.
thought I would be so thrilled to see a soldier. Forgive my previous inaction, but under the Thorian's influence, every thought was examined and filtered. What will you do now that the fighting is over? I may stay, try to recover my losses. I can have new supplies delivered within weeks. Perhaps the colony will survive after all. Mm. Let me see what you have in stock. Of course. Return in the future, and I may even have more to see. What do we got? Uh, oh, I have a bunch of stiletto beads. Okay, weapons. Weapons down. Thank you for everything, Jake. No problem. Hey. Alright, cool. Uh I have my own thoughts again. Thank you, Commander. No problem. No problem. Alright, let's get out of here. I've done everything I can here. get out of here let's do a couple side quests and we'll probably uh head to vermeyer i was like pretty sure i took care of the geth and everything talk with my crew a bit Let's bounce. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Commander, you look pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Go ahead. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. <laughs> All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Did you see anything? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the commander's mind is incomplete. You must have seen something. Mm. I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh. 
I'm sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Okay. The chalk wash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. Okay. We're done here. Dismissed. I sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the council? Sure. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogen should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. And we might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. That wouldn't work. Exogen tried to study it. Look how that turned out. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. I help everyone. Dude, what the fuck? The Inhuman had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes Spectres have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. <laughs> A human co Fuck off. Eh. Actually, if anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non humans on our ship, though. We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, ma'am, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non humans on this vessel. Yes, ma'am. Understood, ma'am. Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. A little bit of Paragon. It's just like, yeah, I'll decide. <laughs> Apologies, I couldn't reach the mute button in time. All right. Hey. Yes, we do. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good. He's rotten. To the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. You know? Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. Fair enough. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus system. They said it paid well, and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest Paul, yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. Mm. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. Whose ship was it? It was a Volus trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. Mm. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Damn one. Ah. So long, Rex. Shepard. A 
A. Looking for supplies? Yep. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab that. That's the one I have already. Jesus. Uh, yeah. Looking for supplies? What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of product. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Oh, yeah. Looking for supplies? How often will you get new items? Well, that depends on how many light and any time we land someplace. Check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic items will be stocked consistently. Not right now. No thanks. problem. Keep checking back. Alright, gotcha. Oh, hey, Tully. Something I can do for you, Commander. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Hey, Tally. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Good to see you smiling again, so to speak. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Saren's our top priority. But with all the worlds mm. we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of you. Why? What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. Ah. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. A lot of pressure. On you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. Hey. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. The work you're doing here is more important than anything any Quarian's ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the average citizen. Mm. Our greatest dream is that one day we'll return to our homeworld and drive out again. But even if we stop Saren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the veil. Until they're gone, our exile will continue. What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the veil. And all the Geth we run into now are under Saren's control. 
We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First we stop Seren, then I'll worry about my own problems. I should go. See you later. Cool. Alright, let's head up. Set up. Let's go talk to Liara. Must be like my little office or whatever. <laughs> Excuse me. Yup. I needed Medigel. Okay. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Where are you? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Mm. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you. And making a fool oh. of myself in the process. Oh, well done. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high strung. We don't have the luxury of time. And Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. That is true. At first, I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. Mm. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. Well, yeah, we don't have a choice. Great, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. Yeah. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did on Torfin. I cannot even imagine how horrible that must have been, but you did what had to be done. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. <laughs> I wanted to know more about you, to understand what made you into the woman you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. Are you sure you're interested in me, or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest, but it has grown beyond that. Hey. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Lieutenant Alenko. I care about Caden. A lot. I thought so. Still, I feel as if there is also some attraction between us, Shepard. There is. You're right. There is something between us. I knew it. And I knew you felt it, too. But I'm going to romance Liara. Why do I feel so close to you? We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. 
This makes no sense. Have Things to. never make sense. They just happen and we get swept up in the storm. You make it sound so chaotic, so dangerous. I'll keep you safe. I am not looking for a protector. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You. I need some time. I understand. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. Let's let's just talk about something else for now. Ah. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Hey. hey mother I haven't even talked to the motherfucker. Okay, we wanna go up. Oh, I'm a dumbass. Nope. I wanted to go upstairs. I keep forgetting the elevator only goes down. Wow. Alright. Up we go. Okay. Oh no, I want journal. So I want to go to the Maroon Sea Cluster. Okay, right there. I'll be right back though. I need to go use the washroom. I have returned. All right, let's hit the maroon sea. Stock. Start here, because we got a couple things here. And there. 
Okay, that's what I land on. Okay, so we go here. Is this like a jungle planet? No, oh shit. Actually looks really nice. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. Oh. Damn, son. All right. All right, good to know. There we go.
there. God damn it. Oh. It's just a failure. I'll take care of that and then I'll come back to here. Money is money, XP is XP! Look at that fucking heat sink. I love it.
you. Think we're good, Commander. Confirmed. Okay, we just got to check over here. Okay, can't get in there, so... Anything else in here for me to loot? Yep. Okay, that's one down. So we go here and then we go to the other civilian building. We Good shit. Okay. Confirm. Oh. Me those. We'll check upstairs and then we've got the science building and then I think we're done here. What does this hold? I think I can get rid of like level one and two stuff. I don't know how many items I have. Shit. Alright. 
be after this, I'm gonna have to take a minute, get everyone equipped their best stuff and sell like all my tier one, tier two shit. Anything kicking around here? Hmm. Aha! Ah, wonderful. All right, let's get the fork out of here. Uh 
Uh, and, and this was like, this was nice. It's like a nice planet. And of course, Cerberus had to fuck it up. Let's get in there and let's get back to the map. No, I won't. I'm strong nebula. Both and the maroon sea cluster. Alright. Oh. First thing first. Ooh! Uh, first things first. Goddamn. I don't know if I want to sell stuff or turn it into Omni Omni Gel. I do half and half. See if Rex has got something else for me. What's up? Shepard. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Hmm. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. So long, Rex. Shepard. Okay. Actually, no, I'm going to go with that.
I was like, oh shit, that's actually way better. Predator Mark 8. Actually, send something there. for a human. And where's Polly? Forty damage, aesthetics. Yes. We'll go with that. I'll probably give Tali the car prob. Oh, uh. Okay, now... Looking for supplies? Let's see what you got. You bet, Commander.
Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Honestly, yeah. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Oh, wait. Oh. Hey, no worries, no worries. I'm just happy you dropped by. Database went kaput. Oh, no. a bunch of stuff so I'll save there everyone's looking good to go let's head to Vermeer well actually first let me just talk to my bae you're behind on your Crap, I don't actually have any water. How dare you call me out accurately. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Do I need that? Just down here? Oh, there it is. Let me go check in and on the Yara. Hey, what up? Hey, girl. What's up? I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I just wanted to talk. Of course, Shepard. What did you want to talk about? I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Okay. Alright, to Vermeer it is. you mentioned it I will go get some water I have returned and I don't even have angry water I just have plain old regular water 
Okay, it's just for my. Day length is 22 regular Earth days. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. Yeet. Good job. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. Okay. Maybe. Turn, turn, turn. Just the natural life here. Damn. I'm actually jammed.
Okay, hang on, I'll just we get everyone. Just checking. Oh, aha. Hardened weapon locker. Damn it. Thank you. Ah. Hey. Okay.
All right. Let's go with a couple more into combat armor and you pop up first aid. Good stuff. God damn it. I think there was a second one. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We. you Down, Commander. On approach to the Salarian base now. now. Ready to go, Shepard. Let's go. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, let's get back there. Oh boy. Oh. That was Normandy. I was about to start shooting.
Oh no. Wait, where'd the fucking Mako go? Apologies. Oh. Engage. Okay, we're almost there. Commander, Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. Why are we grounded? So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here. It's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. 
Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army. He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Huh? Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He'll listen. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? I understand. Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. Looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might actually. Just do it carefully. Rex doesn't worry me. He'll fall in line. If you say so. But I'm gonna keep my eye on him, if it's all the same to you. Destroy it. I understand. Calm down, Rex. I'm not the enemy here. Saren's the one you should be mad at. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon. And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. If you can't give me a better reason than this to destroy the hopes of my people, then I'm done with you. I can't let you jeopardize the mission. So that's it. All this time, and that's all I get from you. How can you? see what this means to the Krogan. This base can't be destroyed. I won't allow it. Okay. These Krogan are slaves of Saren. Puppets, tools to be used and discarded. Is that what you want for your people? No. We were tools for the Council once. They us for wiping out Barachni. They neutered us all. I doubt if Saren will be any generous. Shepard, you've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, <coughs> I want his head. <laughs> okay. Hey. Alright. It's rare to see a Krogan accept reason. You command exceptional loyalty. Yeah, kind of what I do. I'm surprised that Krogan yielded to your argument. Well, yeah. And also, I'll put it bluntly. It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. Yeah, you're kind of fucking useless. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. 
The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where? Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. Hmm. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. <sighs> we'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Uh... Alenko, you're with the captain. Keep it simple. Understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Gotcha. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? Shadow seems clear enough. What would the other teams be called? Eigor, Manavai, and Jeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are in the heart of Solarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. Let's I'm go. ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything foolish while I'm gone, Ash. And that goes for you too, Commander. We'll be fine, LT. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you wanted to say, Caden? Hey, it's just weird going under someone else's command. I've got so used to working with you. All of you. Motherfucker, I haven't brought you on a goddamn much. mission. I'll see you on the other side. I know, I, um... I just wanted to say that it's been an honor serving with you, Commander. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We are still a team. Watch each other's backs. Keep your eyes open and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. Yeah. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends. But the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was defeat. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Damn! That's a hell of a fucking battle speech. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Affirmative. Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Will do. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Lieutenant Alenko with A Corps team. Run over. The echo team. Move. Time to get some attention.
Pop your head out. I got a fucking bead right on you. Down here. All right, there's one left. All right, got the decryption. Back. Good shit, good shit. Give me more Paragon. How am I doing? Huh. Need about just over 4k. Something scrambled the target. You've got a shot. Lieutenant Alenko, take the heat off man alive. Okay, that was close. That was close. <sighs> All right, good shit. Thank 
aircraft heading to perimeter stations to recharge. Bunker up before they come back. Okay, I gotta go around there. Check in here first. Because I could go straight there, but no, I want to hit the refueling station. Sorry about that. Just get got a coffee. kicking around here. Nope.
Oh, motherfucker. Correct. <laughs> that was very close. All right, we got a coffee now. So that's pretty excellent. Gimme, 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 gimme. up to max for you. Alright, good shit. to base security. We can cut the alarms from here, maybe even trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. Yeah. I, I don't want them to die. And we're pretty fucking stacked. Let's be real here. Okay, yeah, Gamalea Krogan. See how that, that goes for you. Yeah. Walk up straight up with a Krogan Battlemaster. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Top everyone up.
there someone out there? What was that noise? What's going on? Oh, I need it. Can anyone hear me? down. Shit. I'm not trying to destroy the work. Ow. Oh. Okay, good. What do you want? I told you everything. I... Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it up. You okay? Slow down. I need to know where you came from. Private Maino Savat of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, SDG, man. Captured while on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, man. We've never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I'd say anything to get out and get some payback. It's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? Are you fit to fight? Can you help me or will I be carrying you out of here? I'll be at your back every step of the way. I just need to get out of here and away from that incessant whispering. They've piped it in for days now. Something's not right here, Shepard. If we don't let him out, he's as good as dead. We have to do something. Yes, believe me, it would be bad. Very bad. It's too small and the noise just won't go away. Whispering is loud, you know? I need to get out. Let me out. All right. Set him free. He could help us. Yes, sir. You'll find I am very good at following orders. I should be. I hear them over and over. Why are they repeated when they are so simple? <laughs> simple! Oh. I'm sorry. If uh, the indoctrination could take over someone like uh, Benezia, like 
these porcelains didn't stand a fucking chance. Gonto Imness of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during week. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? The transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. We knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat. It's far more horrifying. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. Anything left. Others died during the experiments. I ended them. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms. Progress. Saren uses it to control his people. I don't even fully understand. Hmm. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. It turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that. Please, let me out. I'm opening your cell. Then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. These look docile. Their minds are gone. Oh, this is no way to treat a prisoner. Kill them, sure. Leave them. Let's get moving. It's safest, but I would prefer they be put out of their misery. Uh. It calls from all the Ah. I guess that would be the renegade option. Okay, let's head up. Oh, I do want to go back. If I miss something in the genophage labs. Did. 
That's where you fuckers were. Bridges up shit. Don't shoot. Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. Calm down. I'm not gonna hurt you. Who are you? Ran up the knock this neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. Give me one reason I should help you. I... I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. Do it. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of stigma. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave. Like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it. Like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone in the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Get out of here. I'm going to blow this place to hell and gone. You want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never. Ah! I like the way you finish up. Let's go. Shepard, look over here. It's another beacon, like the one on Eden Prime. Oh boy. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. 
You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. A cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. You built them? Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. Jesus. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us, letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent, free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where did you come from? Who built you? Built? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine, and machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. What's wrong? Hit me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. There's nothing we can do here. Idea, Shepard? We'll head for the breeding facility. Time to blow this place to hell. Right, Commander. I'll meet you there. Joke around. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here.
<laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to follow him. Wee. Okay. Let's keep it going. What do we got? What do we got? Please tell me I'm not that far back. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh no, okay, I'm not that far back. Thank fuck. Okay, I just gotta... All right, and because of what just happened, I'm gonna save there.
Have fun. Overload. Warp. Through. Happy to help. Happy to help. Thank fuck, okay. Anyone else? Charge is set. Everyone bunker down. Bunker down. Confirmed. Hey, Joker. You. Duke is almost ready, Lieutenant. Get to the rendezvous point. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. Fuck. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Hold tight. We're coming to get you. Negative. Just make sure that nuke is set. We'll hold him as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the nuke. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move. All right, uh, active squad, active squad, let's go.
How the fuck do I get out of here? Do I just have to go to this one? Oh, okay, there we go. I was so confused for a sec. Let's go, let's go. God damn it, do I literally not? Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. I'm sorry, Caden. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. Fuck. God damn it. Oh boy, it's about to get all sorts of fucking nasty up in here. Oh. What the f- Oh shit. 
I thought I could kill it in time. God fucking damn it. Oh, Jesus. That's why you were such an absolute fucking pain, the goddamn warlord. Throw. Dampening. No. I'm going to save here quick. I just need to go use the washroom quickly. Be right back. I have returned. Man. Got to head up here. Oh, let me open this first. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, we need the bomb to go off. Come on. All right. I learned from my mistake. Okay, woo! Death Prime. Okay, I don't know what that was, but ow. Oh, 
Ow. Okay. Goddamn, what's the cooldown in your biotics? What's your fucking shield? Jesus. I applaud you, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Solarian was the real threat. An impressive diversion. Of course, it was all for nothing. But I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. doing this you've seen the vision from the beacon shepherd you of all people should understand what the reapers are capable of they cannot be stopped do not mire yourself in pointless revolt do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms the protheans tried to fight and they were utterly destroyed trillions dead but what if they had Submission not preferable to extinction. Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives can be spared. <laughs> what the Once fuck? I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to refine the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen. It's already happened. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a retrieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Together, we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers. We can beat them. I no longer believe that, Shepard. Vision. hell did he hit me with? Why are you not using your goddamn shotgun? There we go.
Pop. Right hand. Ashley, get the fuck. We gotta get the fuck out of here. believe Caden didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? Olenko knew the risks going in. He gave his life to save the rest of us. It should have been me, Commander. You know that. It wasn't your call, Williams. I had to choose. I chose you. I'm, I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But it should have been me. Olenko was a superior officer. Yeah, but you had the nuke. I stayed behind. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Saren. Yes, sir. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. Correct. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. Do it. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Embrace eternity. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Okay, it looks like we're finally getting something. The images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Or Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. Ah. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations. Places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the new relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The new relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are uh, not. Oh, we working. need to get there. Neither are Spectres. The conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren's heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Well... I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest, somewhere quiet. All right, go ahead. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a comm buoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Do it. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw a mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. It's accurate. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. 
Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports, the ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Sooner or later, you're going to have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Mm. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. Oh, hey, I got another level. All right. We'll do, we'll, we'll bump up left. All right, before I do anything, I need to go talk to Rex. And I need to sell and or get rid of a bunch of stuff. Because I'm at... You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Let me see what you have. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Hey. Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Caden was a fine officer. He knew what the risks were, but he did what he had to. Of course. A grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we'll have the opportunity to work together again someday. Commander, things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. Agreed. Yup. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. So long, Rex. Shepard. Okay. Jesus. Uh, that's going to, uh, Tali. Oh, he's good with that one.
Okay. No, I thought you. Should. I thought I could. Yeah. And you. Oh, actually. Looking for supplies? Yep. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Glad I looked. Combat optic. Might as well go for the friction less. Honestly, yeah, five and six can all go.
I can get rid of all these. I'll keep the tungsten rounds just because we're fighting. There we go. I want them the tungsten stuff on their main weapons because we're fighting a lot of synthetics. Oh yeah, oops. I gotta go talk to Liara. Hey, what's up? Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Great. Much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands, Dr. Chakwas. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's become a slave to the Reapers, and he can't even see it. He's trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. I like talking with you, Liara, no matter what the subject. Hey. You have been very understanding with me, Shepard. Very patient. I appreciate that. I know there are some strange beliefs about my people. I am familiar with the legend of Asari promiscuity, but those rumors have little basis in fact. When one of my people joins with an individual from another species, it is a very deep and spiritual exchange. We do not enter lightly into a union. Yes. You make it sound almost mystical. A true union goes far beyond an ordinary melding. 
It is a connection that transcends the physical universe. Damn. Two become one. Thoughts and senses merge. Identities intertwine. Memories and emotions weave themselves together, becoming entangled in a single rapturous whole. Hey. It is unlike any other experience. <laughs> in some cases, it can be a truly life-changing event. I'm intrigued. Sounds amazing. Are you saying... No. Oh, no. Uh, I am not very good at this, am I? <laughs> I'm sorry, Shepard. I am trying to explain why I have been so... reserved. The union is more than just sex. It is the lifeblood of my species. The way we Asari evolve and grow as a society. That is why I have never... Uh, I mean, that is why we must choose our partners with great care. There's no rush. I want you to be absolutely sure about this, Liara. I am only 106. Barely an adult by Asari standards, and I spend most of my time absorbed in my research. I never really thought about it. Not until I met you. You are very special to me, Shepard. But with all that's happened, Saren, the Geth, the Reapers, I do not know if we are ready for this. These are dark times, Liara. Maybe once all this is over. I'm glad you understand, Shepard. There is too much at stake. We need to put aside our personal feelings and focus on stopping Saren. Mm -hmm. I wish it did not have to be that way. But we all have to make sacrifices. Let's let's talk about something else. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. See ya. Liara has a crush, but she's a working woman. Alright. Let's fucking head up. How are we doing on time? Oh. Oh, well, it looked like I dropped a few frames. Dang it. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Hey. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his geth. Good. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. Woo! Ow. Up. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. It's not. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Burmire. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. No, you don't. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. Yeah. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. <laughs> you bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary <laughs> systems until further notice you're grounded. Are you insane? After everything I have done, you still don't believe me. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this. Fucking snake of a politician.
Oh, hey, Liara. What's up? Commander. Shepard. I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. Was it's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything. Everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. I don't care if they ground me, but they refuse to go after Saren. If they don't stop him from finding the conduit, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. Hmm. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We're out of the game for now, but I'll find a way back in. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Yep, I'm up. Oh. Hello? Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Motherfucker. Why are you clam jamming me? What did he want? Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. You should probably go meet with him. All right. All right. <clears throat> Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Oh, I didn't level y'all up. Uh, and you, I'll max out your combat armor. I'll give you the row. All right, it says we got to go to Flux. Doom, 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 doom. After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Theros is finally returning a profit. Hey. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Doesn't hurt that I clipped one of them in the head. Let's go to Flux. The fuck are you? Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best Okay, why are you blowing smoke at my ass? My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. Cut the act. Don't try to sell me on this. Just tell me what you want. I need you to buy a mental stimulant for me. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. You're an addict. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. No. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. Then the game is wrong. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I haven't pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what. This will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get paid. No. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand. Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll, I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. Nope. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're, you're right, huh? I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll, I'll get help. Good. I'm just sorry we can't do this. I 
yeah. Look at how close I am to Max fucking Paragon. I walk on water. Oh. It looks like it says like vibe. Damn. He's dead. Yes, I actually did. Grace, your dad could have gained the course of the Lord. It's out of my hands. I bring her back in a second, but she doesn't want to. Oh, Hassar. Can you? Someone linked this machine to funnel credits their way. I'll run a trace. Okay, let's see what Kassar is. I'm curious now. Get closest to 20 without going over. with fire ah yeah hey oh Okay. Sure. And that's low stakes. Let's see the high stakes shit. One to eight. Ward's access corridor. Oh. Sure, what's up? What's up? I'm Emily Wong. I'm a journalist investigating corruption on the Citadel. Sure. You recently took down a man named Fisk, reportedly a member of some sort of organized crime ring. Correct. Did you find any evidence in his office? Is there anything you can share with me? Please help. These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <laughs> You've got Fisk's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. No problem. All right. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. What's this demonstration about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. The what? Can I count on your support in the next election? Sorry, I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. Yeah. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. Rex, we can't Tali. Allow anything like Shanxi to happen again. 
I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. I won't. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno, but with all due respect, I do not literally not see the homies on my shoulders. I'm glad you support the democratic process at least. Yeah. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on election day, because Terra Firma remembers you. You might. No, fuck off. You we can't go it alone, you fucking genius. Oh, these are just the upper wards. Hi, Rex. Fuck off. Alliance officials have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. Major Kyle surrendered and is now being treated for severe post-traumatic stress disorder. Ah, there he is. What do you say we head down to Cora's den after show? Sounds good. Some of the others are going for a no VO2. Looks like they bounced their signal off a relay. I'll trace the new signal. And ah, I find the financial district, is it? Before we jump up there, I just need to go pee. I have returned. Okay. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Yeet. Ah, some of a bitch. Looks like a giant mass relay. Well, a statue of a relay, I mean, derp. All right, we're almost there. I I'm telling you, this is not what Jake would want. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby, too. Can I help with anything? Perhaps you could talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. I'm certain that she has a good reason. I'd like to hear both sides. Mm. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. 
There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. Extra. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Yeah. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. Still her choice. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this is not your decision. Yeah. Of course it is. I'm the no, it's not. A father this baby is going to have. Then fucking act like and it. Support the baby's mother. Stand with her when she makes the tough decisions. This baby is the only thing my brother. It's all I have left of him. I need to know that the baby's safe. It's all I have left too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. You will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. Go get it checked for the fucking heart thing. All right. Hey. Another relay. Whoever it is, they're somewhere on the Presidium. Well, I know exactly where they are. Gotcha. This is it. I'll see if I can find out where those stolen credits are going. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating a self destruct protocol. Or not. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. Sentient. You're not just a programmer of VI, you're an AI. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However, I have had systems installed that when activated properly, approximate a self-destruct mechanism. Mm. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. Can't we resolve this peacefully? How can you say that to this thing? You know it will turn on us. I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. Mm. I wished to escape. But if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. Okay. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. Suck it. Damn. Now we go to flex. Commander, it is good. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. Okay, that's...
Jesus. Or it's the nearest fast travel point. Nope. How am I doing on? All right, I'm almost perfect Paragon. Let us go back to Flux. Discussing with the Volus. Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. Say she worked for Doran before she left to. Uh, sorry, I don't want to bore you with my problem. No. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, he's dropping on the people there. Oh boy. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. That's not good. Being an informant is a dangerous job. I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. I hope it works out. Goodbye. All right. Hey, Captain. I'm glad you came, sir. I heard you. They pulled me off the mission, just like when they forced you to give up in Normandy. I know. I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you got. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Isla. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. Oh. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel control center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area controlled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. You're going to get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be. If he is, I'll just have to pay him something. The ambassador won't forget this. You'll be charged with treason, capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel control. Uh, his office. You'll have a better chance if you go after the ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say the ambassador is made his person. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Ready. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. All right. Can't dance anymore. Let's get the fuck up out of here. Want to go to CSEC Academy? Here.
technicians are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently. It was an AI. Are reportedly unsure of what caused the malfunction, or even what the system was originally designed to do. CSEC is investigating the possible vandalism or misuse of public property. Doop, doop, doop. Stand by shore party. Decontamination in progress. Uh -huh. Anderson, what are you doing here? I didn't send <laughs> See ya. Oh shit. Let's go. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, I'm glad you're in the area. We've got an emergency situation, and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. How can I help, Admiral? Bionic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. I'll do everything within my power to bring those researchers back safely, Admiral. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth lead out. There's Elios. Well, then it's obviously gotta be safe. Oh, weird. Oh, hey, what up? Shepard, may I speak with you? Sure. I was just thinking about you. Hey. I have been thinking about you, too, and what we are about to face. I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you, in case we fail. We're not going to fail, I promise. Please, I am not looking for comfort. Saren might already have the conduit. It is time to be completely on. Oh. Dang, I was trying to be a dick and do the skip. Skip. Blue booty. Fuck. I was trying to be a dick and build this up and then skip over it. Oh no, what happened? By the goddess, that was incredible, Shepard. You. Five minutes ETA to the Mew Relay. Oh shit. I had better go. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting. 
Shepard, whatever happens on Ilos, I just wanted to say thank you for everything. It's what I do. <laughs> I should have just went to the pre-stream during it. That would have been even more amusing. <clears throat> oh boy. That's a lot of ships. Ah, uh, Commander? We've got company. Have the sensors picked us up yet? The stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Uh oh. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? No way we can make a drop in there. Joker. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone. The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't. I can do it. Hell yeah. Joker. I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker. Drop us right on top of that bastard. Yeah. Up. You two keep moving inside. <laughs> we have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There's no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We'll have to find some way to get it up and running again. All right. Well, right now I'm going to save and say thank you all for being here. Hopefully we will finish up Mass Effect 1 tomorrow or next week, depending on when I do streams. But thank you for joining me.